<laughs> you take it out. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there.
Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing... What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm... Just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. What happened to Julia? She, um, lost her mind. Her memory. Uh, she has dementia. Oh, Henry. And now it's happening to me. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. Okay. I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. I wish you would have told me about your wife before. Well, I didn't. Oh, sorry. It's something I wish I would have known about. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, well, I just realized there's probably a lot more I don't know about you. Look, you must be close by now. Let me know what you find.
What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again?
I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Ow! I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. I'm in their main tent. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out? I don't! I, I didn't! This is insane! I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. 
We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Yeah, fuck them. They'll dump an ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario... Worst case scenario, the fire rages out of control and kills a bunch of people. Worst case. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Look, it's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. collapsed climbing out of here and um now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site what the hell happened to you it's definitely not the best idea it wasn't me <sighs> what do we do we ignore it obviously if they come to put water on it then we know the forest service is connected somehow the person who did it is still out there right now henry we're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. receiver just picked something up uh what what thingy what now i found a device that picks up frequencies it's how i found the reports last night and it's going off now it just picked up a free frequency yeah what could it be i don't know you gotta find out all right i'm on my way now you know what i just picked up uh no a fifth of major bueno tequila from the creek are you drunk no! I am getting drunk! But you! You better stay sober. We need a right mind between the pair, know what I'm saying? My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are.
shit! What? Ah. I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you it is not me oh my god go i'm going Hey, I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. 
Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Freezing in here. Is anybody down there? Huh? <laughs> 
Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh... They almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he 
honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... Uh, I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. What do you think is in there? There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say.
Ah, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. Oh, no. God. Poor kid. You fell. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave, and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway.
that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. Oh, well, that's nice. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. She's a record. 
you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. He had quite the view. He wrote down everything he did to us, and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet.
I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. It's a nightmare out there. Hello? Delilah! Uh, damn it. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute? Come on. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Like I couldn't get here fast enough. Exactly. That's how I felt for the past 24 hours. <sighs> well, I'm still mad. But you understand. Sure. Yeah. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe... You could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I 
just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. <laughs>